And thank you, Shannon. At Fox News Alert, of course, you know the news. President Trump found guilty on all counts. Joe Janine's been here. She's been able to give some comments, but you've got some other people here with some thoughts. And that, Greg, let me start with you as we got the news right here, right about 5 o'clock. I'm not that surprised. This thing always felt preordained. Uh, it, it feels more arranged than a marriage in Kabul. I, I'm not, I guess that's why I'm not that broken up about it. Uh, the man thrives on adversity, and so do the American people. And this kind of only adds to the persuasive, persuasive power by proving his point that if you are a threat to power, they will try to just dis destroy you. And I do believe that, you know, Americans love the story of a lone man battling a corrupt system with his back against the wall, uh, as opposed to some invalid who is now the villain when you in this story and and these are all stories there is a villain and there is a hero and we now know who the villain is and who's behind this what we we just saw something with our very own eyes but we don't know what was going on behind the scenes and i believe that there was a a conscious collusion of allies that came together it's pretty obvious with a private strategy to eliminate a common shared adversary this happened before with uh, uh, in the election. Uh, I think it was Time Magazine that wrote about the cabal. The, the, ca the cabal. Ca cabal. Thank you. <laughs> I said cabal earlier. Government, the legal system, the media. So what we saw was the outcome. What we didn't see was everything leading up to it. What was done mm -hmm. secretly, uh, and then we get this trial, which is paraded publicly. Uh, but we didn't see how this happened. I believe that they just gave Popeye a gallon of spinach laced with steroids and meth and i think you're going to see this not uh the numbers aren't going to go in biden's favor i think this will not only solidify the base it will radicalize it it will infuriate the independents and the undecideds and those who see biden as a desiccated you know, barely alive person will not will will be, mm -hmm. I think, energized by this. See President Trump right now on your screen left, uh, leaving the courtroom there. We're keeping an eye on that motorcade. He's going to be heading back up to his uh, place at Trump Tower. One thing up to your point about it, uh, spinach yeah. and fuel, the Trump donation site crashed a few minutes ago and it's still down, which means, that, uh, I think, to your point, that the base will, would be energized. Uh, Win Red apparently also having similar problems. The sentencing would be July 11th, Jesse. The, uh, that's two weeks after the first presidential debate and four days before the RNC convention gets started. So it's all crunched. Yeah, Trump was found guilty because he beat Hillary and is about to beat Joe Biden. <laughs> I thought I'd be angry, but... I feel this cool resignation, this mm -hmm. resoluteness mm -hmm. that we're wounded as a country and we're not going to go down, that we're going to get back up, we're going to regain our strength, and then we're going to vanquish the evil forces that are destroying this republic. And if you look at the American people, how are they looking at this? People are desperate for help from these politicians, for safety, for security. And these nitwits consumed with hatred are trying to destroy a man because he threatens their power. These are wicked people obsessed with a person and we will seek justice. We guarantee that. This man's life is a Greek tragedy. Mm -hmm. a, from billionaire bankruptcy, TV star, Hollywood Walk of Fame, divorces, marriages, children. And that was even before he <laughs> enters politics. And then you have investigations and hoaxes and a pandemic. Mm -hmm. And now they're trying to incarcerate this person. And the only way this act ends if he is reelected and it looks like he will be reelected. June is going to be a pivotal month, though, Dana, because Biden will speak after this to the nation, he says. And then in just less than a week, Hunter Biden will go on trial for felony gun charges. Mm -hmm. And then you will have polling that's going to try to push this into the bloodstream and show that Biden's now closing the gap. We'll see if that sticks. And then you have a debate at the end of the month. So if Joe Biden is still down 
at the end of June, after all of this, mm -hmm. it's over for Joe Biden. And I thought the president's tone was perfect. He was angry. He said it was rigged. And we all know it was rigged. We all know he can't get a fair trial here. But the key point was that the real verdict is on November 5th, when not 12 men and women get to decide. 330 million men and women get to decide. And that is the key. So get out there and vote. Um, it, uh, an update on the Trump donation site is <laughs> back up, and now it's rebranded with I did nothing wrong. Um, <laughs> I also just want to read to you, because um, you mentioned the Biden campaign, and we did hear earlier in the week that President Biden is going to make some sort of statement, regardless of the outcome, he is going to make a statement from the White House. We assume that, I don't even know if he's actually there, he might be in Delaware, but we know that, but his campaign put this statement out, and then Harold will get your take, the Biden campaign saying this. Uh, in New York today, we saw that no one is above the law. Donald Trump has always mistakenly believed he would never face consequences for breaking the law for his own personal gain. But today's verdict does not change the fact that the American people face a simple reality. There is still only one way to keep Donald Trump out of the Oval Office at the ballot box. Convicted felon or not, Trump will be the Republican nominee for president. The threat Trump poses to our democracy has never been greater. He is running an increased the unhinged campaign of revenge and retribution, pledging to be a dictator on day one and calling for our Constitution to be terminated so he can regain and keep power. A second Trump term means chaos, ripping away Americans' freedoms and fomenting political violence, and the American people will, re will reject it this November. That is from the Biden campaign. Now, over to you, Harold. So it's a tough day for, for the country, um, and obviously a tough day personally for President Trump. Um, I think Jonathan Turley's remarks about his confidence in our system, uh, our rule of law and our judicial system is something I think we all have to cling to. I think the word for me right now is just restraint. Those who don't support President Trump's politics, uh, who may have some glee today or this afternoon, and those who support him who are disappointed. The one thing I hope people don't walk away uh, or that they, they don't take away from this is that our system doesn't work. Uh, I give Jonathan, I criticize Jonathan Turley sometimes, but I give him a lot of credit for how he framed this here at the end of, at the end of his remarks a few minutes ago. Uh, we have an appellate system. We have a Supreme Court or, 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 or appellate system in this state that will review this. And if uh, President Trump is not, does not uh, uh, gain the kind of favor that he wants there, he can appeal even higher. But our system will work this out. Uh, and for anyone to suggest that a country that has survived the Revolutionary War, a Civil War, uh, World War I, World War II, that we won't be able to make it through this, I'd say shame on you. We are a huge country with huge ideals and huge dreams and aspirations. Whether you support President Trump or not, he will have an opportunity to remedy this if the law is on his side. Uh, and I would hope that those who don't, don't like President Trump or who don't like his politics don't take glee in this, uh, don't take joy in this. Uh, this is a day in which justice was served at the first court, and we'll see what happens here over the next several months, as I'm sure, uh, based on some of the enumeration we heard from Judge uh, Pirro and even, even from Andy McCarthy and Shannon Bream and others about the things that the president may be able to cite on appeal. Uh, but as we sit here tonight, I still have great confidence in our system. I hope we don't go attacking these jurors. Uh, it was a human exercise, jury deliber deliberations are, and I'm one that hopes that these jurors do talk. Uh, and give us a sense of what happened yeah. uh, in that jury and room. Judge, and they have the right to do that, every right to do that. I noticed that. when Jonathan Turley was talking about the judge's instructions to the jury, you made a note. because, And I also remember before, I think you had said to Trey Gowdy that in your experience, mm -hmm. juries usually get it right. Um, what about the jurors here versus the judge, or what happened there? Well, first of all, I think it's important for people to understand that there is a, a huge connection between the jurors and the judge. The judge is the one who decides, you know, when they go, you know, to lunch, when they get a break, what they get for lunch, whether, you know, they're going to have their needs that we don't even hear about met in that deliberation room. And when I was on the bench, it uh, without... Uh, uh, in almost every case, I would say, the jurors would say to me, Judge, did we get it right? And they would want to know my opinion. And I would always say to them, You got it right. You're the jury.
And so there's this connection between the judge and the jurors. So I'm not surprised at the verdict. I have, I mean, legally, I, I could take this on appeal myself. But what I'm most disturbed about is the fact that they come out, that the, the, the Democrats come out with the Biden campaign that you just read. The, it's an increasingly unhinged campaign of revenge. I mean, Donald Trump did not sound when he came out of that courtroom like he was full of revenge. And they talk about how he will now try to destroy the Constitution. It's just the opposite. Donald Trump is the strongest man I have ever met. There is no one who can withstand what this man has withstood. And I've known him for 40 years. He will fight the fight until the end. And this is a scenario that will energize him. It will energize his base. And hopefully, along with that energy, will, be, will come other people who will say to themselves, what did Donald Trump do wrong? What was it again that he did wrong? I'm not sure people know what he did wrong in this case. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I don't want to hear about, you know, well, the jury decided it was definitely right. Well, you know, the appellate court will decide that. But what I can tell you is that this is the ultimate in terms of election interference. We saw it with Letitia James. They tried, she tried to yeah. bank bankrupt him, and maybe she did. I don't know. We saw it with, with uh, Alvin Bragg, who's a Soros-funded prosecutor, and all of these prosecutors who want to take him down. Be careful what you wish for. And I don't want to see this happen because I believe in the system. To not believe in the system means that I wasted three decades of my life. I have to believe in the system. Mm -hmm. But the problem here is you have just energized a sleeping giant across America that, you know what, there are DAs in this country in all 50 states who say, I have the power to indict, I have a grand jury, let's hit it, especially against the president who protected his own son, who finally is coming up for, it, for a crime mm -hmm. that he allegedly committed, I'll say that as a professional, for trial on June 3rd, but where the, his own Department of Justice prevented him from even having to answer for his lack of paying uh, taxes in some very heavy income years. Mm -hmm. And now America is saying, you know what? Now we see them juxtaposed against each yeah. other, and it's not fair. And we are a country that, that was born of revolution. Revolution is in our DNA. We are fighters, and I hope it's only at the ballot box. Don't get me wrong. But I am, my insides mm -hmm. are so angry because this was not a case yeah. that should have been brought. Let me give you one more update, if you don't mind. This has just come in from the AP. Um, even though the White House had put out this statement, Greg, that um, the president would be making an official statement from the White House, apparently now... Um, President Biden will not address Trump's conviction good. tonight, per people good. familiar. Mm. The plans are fluid, but the first comments likely to come in an informal setting in days ahead, mm. probably in response to a reporter's question. Uh, <laughs> and you know, that won't be planned. Uh, they do, That'll just be a spontaneous question. That, uh, they do point out that President Biden is with his family today in Delaware on the anniversary of Bo's death. So not tonight, uh, but again, um, unlikely to... When does he talk to the press? In front of Marine One? Yeah, very few things in Biden's life are fluid except for his meals. Uh, I go back to my original point. If you look at Russian collusion, the P tape, Hunter's laptop, the constant in investigations of the Trump family, the, relent the relentless kind of campaign is now routine. How can you not conclude that this entire thing is rigged? Mm. And it just it just informs that idea that Trump has been saying is that they if they don't like you, they're going to destroy you. They mentioned revenge, and it's interesting because wh why would they bring that up? Uh, it's because they feel somehow that it is warranted. Trump didn't mention it. They did. Why else would you bring it up? It's like a guilty spouse. Every time he sees uh, an angry look from his husband or wife, goes, oh, my God, she knows. <laughs> you know, it's like they, they just go, well, you know, we did it. You know, and then, of course, they always use that, that old chestnut, no one is above the law. Yeah. And I go back to the original thing that Kat Timp said, and no one is below the law except for Trump. Trump. Basically, it's going to be anybody affiliated with Trump, any Republican, any conservative, all below and the law. tonight on your show, mm -hmm. you have Kevin O'Leary, right. who was here yesterday talking about his recent trip overseas when he was trying to bring investment into the country, and everybody's saying this is real, and it's hurt the American brand. So that was just the trial and the Stormy Daniel 
Yes, he is on tonight. He is on the show tonight. is on. We are. It is on. I get. It is on. Right. Um, Jesse and then Harold and then I think we're out. It's hard to imagine how the president feels right now as someone who was born in New York City, who then came back and had a big part in creating the New York City skyline. Not many people have such a powerful imprint on the city as Donald Trump. And then page six fixture. Big part of the 80s and 90s social scene here that defined New York City culture. And then grows that brand into a reality TV star with The Apprentice at the time of reality TV zenith. And then takes it even higher to the White House and keeps New York City safe, keeps New York City wealthy. And then you get a once in a hundred year pandemic and the man is on the phone with Cuomo sending ships, sending ventilators, doing everything he possibly can to help this city. And what does he get in return? He gets a sick DA with a crooked judge, a crooked judge yeah. and a ridiculous Biden Justice Department official who conspire mm -hmm. to destroy him because he was successful. Mm -hmm. It's a shame. It's a damn shame. Harold, uh, Alvin Bragg is going to have a press conference at 6.30 <laughs> tonight, so there will be something. You know, he'll but I'm glad the president's speak. not having having any words. It's probably appropriate. The DA, DAs would ab obviously speak after a case like this. But again, I just want to remind people, when the Supreme Court of the United States overturned abortion and overturned affirmative action in the last year and a half or so, there was there was an outrage. And I just, but I was upset about it. But you, we have to show restraint. This is how our system works. The court today, <laughs> Judge, you can laugh all you want, but the I'm court, not the laughing at all. The, 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 Don't the, accuse me of well, laughing. I, forgive me. I thought you smirked. I, I, I did apologize. not smirk. I Harold. apologize. Hmm. Forgive me. The Supreme Court just in the last few days. Unanimously, a liberal justice wrote the wrote the decision in favor of the National Rifle Association, saying that they had been discriminated, that their, their First Amendment rights have been violated by the New York Department of Financial Services. For those who believe that President Trump has been wrong today, you may be right, and we will find out as he goes through this appeal process. Again, this is a tough day and a sad day for America. I meant no harm by what I said to you, Judge. I thought you I mistake. I, I did mis not. I'm mistaken. This is a very sad day I agree for with you. all of us. I agree with you. Irrespective of party, I agree. irrespective of affiliation, we have seen the criminal justice system weaponized to bring down a candidate for president and a former president. It is historic. This has never happened before in America. I think everyone should take a deep breath before they get upset about anything or accuse anyone of anything else. Amen. I would agree. All yeah. right. So just wrapping up here on the five, uh, Donald Trump found guilty on all 34 counts. Uh, Alvin Bragg will give a press conference at 6.30 p.m. So you, you know, st stick around for Fox. We're going to have amazing coverage tonight from Brett Baer show, Jesse show, Laura Ingram, and then, of course, exclamation point all the way through. And then I'll see you on America's Newsroom in the morning. Coverage on the Trump verdict continues. Click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You won't get it anywhere else.